Hey, you YouTube. Uh, Dragonology99 here. This is my, like, fifth, fourth run through through this, so I'm going to try to make it really, really quick this time. That's what I said last time, but, um, this is my Warp Psychic deck. Uh, as most of you know, Psychic's got a lot of really good, uh, new support in Extreme Victory. And, yeah, they're just a really cool mechanic. Um, you remove things from play, and then, with a monster, and then when that monster gets sent to the grave, you special summon the remove from play card. So, um, I think that's a really cool mechanic. Um, I know Hellbomber made, uh, made, made a, a variant of that mechanic before it was even announced, but still, it's a fun deck, and it is really competitive. I am crushing face on Dueling Network with this thing. So, let's get started. We've got three Serene Psychic Witch, 1,400, 1,400-1,200, three-star Earth, your basic floater, um, except when it's destroyed by any means and sent to the grave, you remove from play a psychic. Uh, that can't be that effect can't be warninged, can't be judgment in. Um, it's a psychic with 2,000 or less attack, but all the psychics I'm running have 2,000 or less attack. Um, can't be judgment in, can't be warninged until the next standby phase, which you, when you sub special summon that monster from the remove from play zone, then they can judgment or warning. Well, they can't judgment, but they can warning or oppression it, and you can trap some before then. So there you go. Um, just so much better than the failure that was Pandaborg, in my opinion. Um, and the remove from play thing is really cool because it does get some of your monster's effects off. Um, so, just great card. Not to mention, if you want to get something like Mind Master on the field, um, it doesn't summon it right away. It summons it during the standby phase. So you don't have to worry about your opponent ramming into it with its other monster, with their other monsters. Especially if they have something like, I don't know, like a Sangin on the field that they're beaten face with. You don't want your Mind Master to be run over by a Sangin. You want to summon your Mind Master specially and take the 1,000 damage. So, uh, great effect there. Hush Psychic Cleric, or Tactron Psychic Priest, as he's called in the OCG, similar to uh, Summoner Monk, or Summoning Priest, Summoner Priest in the OCG, um, in effect and name. When it's normal Summoner Flip Summoned, Defense Mode. Uh, three Star Earth, zero attack, 2100 defense. Um, you can send one card from your hand to the grave to remove from play a psychic in your grave. And then when he's sent to the grave, by any means, um, you special summon that monster. It's mandatory, so you can tribute, you can synchro, whatever. He makes the loop happen, and he's a great card on his own. 2100 defense is a lot of defense, especially for light hero beat and other stuff. Um, and he's a floater, so uh, good card. Next, there's Wizard. Um... Kind of similar effect. Four star Earth, 1900 attack, zero defense. Uh, so beat stick. Uh, when it's normal summon, just by normal summoning, as opposed to this is, uh, you can special summon that to do it, which is why that's the loop. Um, you can replay a psychic from your grave, and then when he's sent to the grave, special summon the psychic. Also mandatory, doesn't miss the timing. 1900 floater, um, and say you've got a really big psychic in the grave, and your opponent's got a monster that's not as big, uh, not as big as that psychic, but big as wizard. Summon Wizard, remove the Psychic, crash into that, summon the Psychic, and then run over their monster. Free Monster Reborn with a 1900 body. Earth type. What more could you ask for? And it's only a super. Props to Konami for that. Um, where are my Esper Girls? Sorry, I want to do Esper Girl first. Um, Esper Girl, or Psy Girl, as most of us still fondly call her. Arguably, most adorable card in the set. Arguably. Um... 500 attack, 300 defense, 2-star Earth Tuner. Uh, this is their main tuner. When she's removed from play, and special summoned from that removed from play zone, you can remove from play the top card of your deck, like so. Um, and then when she's sent to the grave, by any means, synchro, etc., etc., you add that to your hand. So, um, any of these three will summon her uh, from the removed from play zone, and you get a free plus one when you do that. So she is definitely the main tuner of the deck, and she's adorable on top of that. And then two, uh, Psychic Commander. Uh, I wish I could have used Mental Seeker, but turns out he's not that good. Um, but Commander is basically three-star Earth Tuner. Um, he's an old-school monster, so you guys should know what he does. Uh, basically, he's a 1900 beast stick, and he pumps up your Psychics, or basically pumps down your opponent's monsters when they battle your Psychics by up to 500 for some life points. So he's a great normal summon. Um, 
because he is a, like basically a 1900 beat stick that gets under bottomless, and he's a three star tuner. That's Earth, so good, just good, yeah. Destructotron, um, 1600 attack, four, 400 defense, Earth type. Um, during the end phase, you don't have any psychics. It blows itself up, but if you special summon it off of Witch, then he summons in your standby phase, and you have the opportunity to summon another psychic so he doesn't die. You pay a thousand life points to blow up a face down. Um, as many times as you want, as long as you have life points. So he murders back row. Light hero beat, grave keepers. Um, he can't kill face ups like Necro Valley and Depression, but he will kill all of the face down back row. Um, just for life points. So, great. Um, just wait, you clear the field and then explode on them. So, great card there. Oh, sorry, hold on. Um, Dr. Cranium, one star, uh, Earth Psychic. Uh, when he's sent to the grave by battle, or destroyed by battle and sent to the grave, you pay 800 life points to add any psychic from your deck to your hand. Uh, usually wizard, sometimes other things, but wizard's the best because you can normal summon him. Um, decent effect um, because it has to be destroyed by battle and you do have to pay life points. It is a little um, hard to get off and annoying, but it's got a decent effect. It's a telekinetic power world target. It's a one for one target. Uh, that's why he's in here. Mind Master, uh, broken, broken, broken. Mind Master is broken. Um, we all expect him to get banned, which is why the deck does not need Mind Master, but if you get Mind Master and another Psychic on the field with a clear backer on your opponent, you win. Game. So, that's why he's broken. You get him, you win. Um, he's also a one-star tuner, so he combos, uh, with the next card, Gores. Basically, Gores, uh, the token in Mind Master, Sync Mind Master with the token for an eight-star, like Thought Ruler, or Arc, uh, yeah, Thought Ruler, Stardust, Scrap, whatever. Um, or if you Telekinetic Power Well, you can summon out Cranium as well, and then sync with a token for Trishula. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, Gores is really good, since the loop requires cards in hand, so you don't end up setting back row a lot. So, Gores comes out. Um, if he comes out, you he's the biggest monster main decked. Um, there's a lot of synchroing that goes on, but he is the biggest monster main decked, so really good, especially if you're staring down Oppression or Necro Valley. Just drop a Gores, and then bam, you've dropped a Gores. Um, so, he turns games around, he wins games, he's really good. If you're running Psychics, I recommend you try running Gores, because he is good. Plague Spreader Zombie, uh, discard food for, or send a grave food for Cleric. Um, he, you, you all know what he does. Uh, he's only a $10 gold rare, but he had his glory days. Um, Basically, you can discard him for Cleric, and then summon him to sync with Cleric for uh, your special uh, remove and play monster, or you summon Wizard, remove and play something, and then special summon him and sync. Um, just turns your floater into like instant monster reborns, so he's really good, and he's a great discard too, so uh, there's that. Morphing Jar, um, Earth type, another Earth type, um, two star Earth. Uh, you all know what he does, he flips, he uh, wrecks hands. Um, there's a lot of ways to protect him in this deck, so you can flip him on your turn so that they lose their cards and you just plus the crap out of them. Um, as well as he can make the Churia Beast with Commander. So, there you go. Basically, not an Earth is like the turning point that made him me put him in the deck, but he also um, just, you know, rips through your deck you get five more cards, and if this deck draws into some key things, or it just draws into a bunch of good cards, you win. So, he just helps it happen. Uh, spells. Power Well. Um, you don't know what it does. It's a fairly old card, but you don't know what it does. Basically, you special summon any number of level two or lower psychics from your grave, these four, and take some damage. But, um, quick play, so, I mean, set it, your opponent attacks... Summon Cranium. Um, as I mentioned earlier, you get the Gorse token, Mind Master, and Cranium for uh, Trishula. Um, and, I mean, your opponent's got a clear back row. Power Well, Mind Master, Esper Girl. Game. So, it is a really good card. Um, although, I'd probably cut at least one of them if I had dualities. But, it still, nonetheless, is a really good card. And it's only going to get better uh, when we get Time Escaper. Uh, two-star non-tuner Earth in Generation Force. Look it up. Um, and this will just get even better. MSTs, uh, Royal Oppression, Necro Valley. Necro Valley not so much, but Royal Oppression murders the deck. Um, 
Necker Valley prevents us from plussing. We can still sink, we just can't plus. Um, but Royal Depression just kills everything. So Typhoon gets rid of that. And, uh, you know, sometimes it just kills back row, but it's mainly there for oppression and Necker Valley. Uh, one for one in Itali. You draw either of these cards and another Psychic and another monster for one for one's cost. Um, but basically, if you can use these cards and summon another Psychic first turn or off a Tornado or Chaps done, you win. Game. Right there. As long as you don't have 3,200 or less life points. And if you do, you're probably only going to get like a Trishula or like an Overmind and a Stardust. You know. Um, you'll have to limit, limit yourself a little. But these, these, these summon Mind Master and break things. So, yeah. That's all I have to say about them. Um, Econ and Mind Control. Econ is another way to perfect, protect Morphing Jar, as well as you contribute your floaters like Cleric and Wizard to special summon, let's say Esper Girl, get a plus one, steal their monster, sink, bada boom. Uh, you just got yourself a Synchro, took out a monster, drew a card. So, uh, that both of the effects are really, really good in this deck. And then Mind Control, uh, same idea, but you already have a tuner on the field. Um, or you could just use it to troll Gravekeeper, steal Spy, flip Spy, laugh at them. Um, that's always fun, because Gravekeeper matchup isn't fun. Um, Dark Hole, Monster Born. We've got, like, I don't know, like 11 floaters in here, so Dark Hole uh, rarely costs you anything. Um, and then Monster Reborn is almost as broke as Mind Master, so. Trinade, um, wins games. You know, you play Trinade, you explode. Done deal. Book, um, I've used this to reset Morphine Jar, actually, more than once. Uh, that's trolly. Um, but other than that, it's just a great disruptive card. Um, especially if you've, you know, you've trapped stunned that turn, so you want to use Book, or they've trapped stunned, etc. Book's good. Um, and then Avarice, during the loop... A lot of cards in the grave, so that's it's good then, drawing into it in the loop. As well as, you don't really want your priests, I mean sometimes the priests, but you don't want your wizards, so you, um, and then sometimes your priests in the grave. Um, basically anything that isn't Esper Girl, or really big Psychic Synchro, can go back in the deck. So, Avarice is good, just free plus one, you know, might as well run it. Two traps done, uh, shuts off oppression, as well as, even if they have a really big back row, flip traps done. You know, Mind Master and another Synchro proceed to explode and go for game. So it's really good, especially with uh, Deep Prison everywhere. Um, you negate Deep Prison for free, and I mean, this deck can't really afford to pay that many life points because it does, you know, have a little bit of life point issues. Um, so Trap Stun's the superior choice to seven tools, and it still negates Deep Prison just fine. So Deep Prison's an, uh, a way to, you know, protect your monsters like Morphine Jar and such, um, and it's Deep Prison, so yeah. Uh, one copy of Warning and one copy of Judgment. Um, I only have one Warning, but if I had two, I'd probably cut the Judgment because, um, you know, sometimes I paid 4000 for this. I ended up winning the game, but I mean, Warning would have been better. Um, but you do have Life Point issues, but 2000 isn't that much, and you can always use Judgment, so he, it's just a good card. Um, they're still good. I mean, it's it's a competitive deck, so you can't just rely on the combo. You gotta play it like a real deck. So these are staple cards, so you should run them. Uh, Torrential. I managed to pick up a rare from Turbo Pack uh, Five. It actually looks really cool. So if you can get your hands on a rare Torrential, um, which and any of the floaters, Torrential's great. We've got like a bajillion copies of Sangin and a bajillion copies of. Uh, I don't even know, the Cherry Cliff, so Torrential's really, really good in this deck. Call the Haunted, um, I'm a little iffy on this, but it, it does win games, because you can, I mean, summon Wizard, remove from play, big Psychic Synchro, um, call a Tuner, such as, you know, call Psychic Commander, sink it a Black Rose, blow up the field, special summon your big Psychic, there you go. Um, I have run into problems with, uh, calling Gores before. Uh, which which is annoying. You like draw into Gores and you're like, oh, I got caught on the field. But it's still good because you can trunate it because you usually sync with them. Um, so it is a good card. Not to mention, if your opponent MSTs it, you can chain it to Witch. Witch gets summoned, called dies. Witch dies, you get its effect. So this is like, that's as good as the Dandelion Limit Reverse play. And Mirror Force, another way of protecting Morphing Jar and